Hello everyone! This is Beastwood back in a 7 with a new hold and a new project and all that. And that new hold and project is King Pilchard the Eighth's Dungeon by Pilchard 8. Beastwood's been dared by his friends to go into King Pilchard the Eighth's Dungeon. What will happen? Now, I need to say something before I get started. This is the second time I'm recording the first part. And the stupid thing is, I actually managed to get through the entirety of the hold before realizing that my first part was completely blank. Or rather, I knew that it was, but then I forgot about it and then only realized it just today. So, yeah, this is embarrassing, so I guess... I guess we'll just have to play up until the point where I stop the second, uh, the first part again. Yeah, <clears throat> so, Castle Entrance, by Richard. Beethro and his friend Strafe approached the castle. The only reason he was doing this was because his friend promised that if he got him proof that he had been into the castle, he would give him something. He, he couldn't wait to find out what it was. Strafe decides to go through the plan with Beethro before he goes in. Okay, Beethro, you know what to do. Sneak past the guards and go into the castle. Get proof that you've been to the dungeon, and I'll give you something. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so that's that. Oh fuck, that gate is locked tight. Looks like there's no way in. Oh, you could just go that way. So yeah, this is a trapdoor puzzle. It's uh, It's a trapdoor puzzle. What else is there to say? I, mean, I could say it's a trapdoor puzzle, but uh, at this point I feel like I'd just be repeating what has already been said. But yeah, it's a trapdoor puzzle. That is indeed what it is, repetitive as it may be. So we just kind of make our way through it. Stop making mistakes, that's a good place to start too. And eventually it gets done. So, a chunk. Click, and up we go. So, HALT! You have come too far. Take one more step and we shall attack. Oh, you've really asked for it now. ATTACK! Okay, so, yeah. Guards. They sure are guards, and uh, eyes are also guards, apparently. Well, I did say a long time ago that eyes needed better rights, and I guess they... I guess the, the world has finally decided, hey, let's give them jobs and stuff. You know the eyes. I hate you so much. I hate you too, disembodied voice of a guard that is dead. Okay, so what's this? Challenge. Defeat the guards without turning your sword. Ooh, challenges. That's fun. Okay, so castle challenges. Be through a walk down the stairs to tackle the challenge. Alright, so... Okay, you've got to defeat the guards without turning your sword. If you do, it will cause a lockdown and you must start again. Step on the stone area to record the sword position. I'm gonna go with uh, this one to use. From then, you may not turn in anyway. And here we go. It begins. So yeah, this, uh, this hold has challenges. It's uh, way ahead of its time. Would really benefit from some 5.0ing. But whatever. And it ends successfully. So there's a roach. This is how the game records whether you've done challenges or not. It's with secret rooms. Or rather this hole. Whatever. Leave me alone. My terminology is weird. You're weird. Your face is weird. Welcome to King Pilcher VIII's castle. Opening times Monday to Saturday. 7am to 9pm. 9, 9 Sunday. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. The time is 10, se uh, 10 17 p.m. Sorry, we are closed. Really, you're closed? Then where's the door? You're really not doing a good job of keeping me out here. <clears throat> As Beethro entered the castle, he couldn't help but worry. What if he was? What if he was caught? What would happen to him? He had come too far. He carried on. But besides, as soon as he got this over and done with, he could get his hands on that little something Strafe had promised him. That little something. That that sounds weird. I I am suddenly not so certain I wanna know what it is. 
Gah! I've set up the Goblin Castle alarm system. I'll have to make a run for it. So yeah, this is a part where I have to kill a bunch of tar stuff, I guess. And kill, 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 kill. Everything dies. Yes, especially the everything. That part really, really needs to die. Plop. Top, 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 and plop, plop, plop. That was a dumb idea. Um, yes, let's keep that and plop, 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 plop. Plop, plop, and plop, 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 plop. Okay, Jeff, enough of the plopping already. Okay, so I gotta clear up the tar, it's kinda stupid, but that's life. Life is kinda stupid, you just gotta deal with it sometimes, you know? As much as I'd rather not. Da, 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 da. Okay, that, that does it good. Let's kill this horrible wave of babies that I unleashed upon myself. Down we go! This is honestly kind of a bit of a tedious hallway. <sighs> good time for me to drink a bit. Okay, so there's another challenge stair. Challenge. Defeat all the Tar Mothers while keeping your sword north. Very well, so it shall be done. <clears throat> Here, you must get to the top and destroy the Tar Mothers without turning your sword. If you do turn your sword, it will cause a lockdown. And you must restart. Face north to begin at the next spawn. It begins. Okay, so yeah, yeah, this is actually not all that bad. Just face north. It's not that difficult, actually. There's just a few parts where you have to be a little clever about how you do things, but... These generally don't happen too often, so... Uh, yeah, that that can happen too. It's pretty dumb when it does. Any hoodly who? It's about done. Okay, I need to keep facing the right direction. Okay, and it then successfully. Okay, so from here on, I can just do. That. Okay. And so, I leave with completion completed. That is very good. That is very good indeed. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Come on. Sorry. Okay, so, roach on a door. That's, uh, that's a roach on a door, right? Okay, so back to the castle floor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to fight tonight. Watch as two contestants battle it out for supremacy of the ring. In the left corner we have... Huh? That's not a wraith wing. What is your name, Delva? Name's Beethro. Don't you forget it. Right, well, you're up against a goblin now, so like it or lump it. Okay, just step into the ring. Fight! Eh, yeah, that is super easy. Marvelous, quite marvelous. Next fight. Marvelous? You clearly have a weird definition of marvelous, lady. Step forward to start the fight. I would if those sheep weren't in the way. Okay, so there's a guard. Yes, because the fight is totally between me and the guard and totally not between me and those roach queens. Yeah. Yeah, right. Keep telling yourself that. Okay, so, hmm, you're lasting longer than I thought. Final challenge. But first, super duper challenge. Fight a slayer instead of a guard, without turning a sword. Now this guy's just daring. Okay, so... Bunch of broken walls. Secret wall maze, yay! 
Is it not just the greatest? Okay, so soon you are brave enough to try this challenge. Very well. You must slay the slayer without turning your sword. You know the rules by now. Step onto the stone platform to record the sword position. Naturally, I'm gonna want to play this position. Because the plan is to kill him on one of those corners. Because it's a well documented slayer killing technique. But if the slayer is. Uh, let's say I'm. Uh, let's pretend I'm right there. Let's say the slayer is here. All I have to do. Okay, no. Here facing northeast. All I have to do is move down and he'll move back and back. But still, he's here where he'll go here. Then I can step here. All he can do is turn. Uh, to face north here, and then I can stab him. So that's my plan. And uh, my plan is also to have him come in through here to facilitate matters. Yeah, there we go. And it ends successfully. That is really easy though. Okay, so roaches, they're dead. They almost have been dead. So walk back up the stairs. Okay, so super duper challenge, super duper done. Okay. Next. Now you must face the final challenge. Health. Hiya, Uncle Beethro. What are you doing here? Um. Okay, it doesn't matter now. Let's get out of here. It's time for a final battle. Fight! Yeah, no. So mud everywhere. Guess it's what happens when you go home after walking in the rain. Mud everywhere. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kill the brains and that other eye too. That would, that would that couldn't hurt. Let's do that. So yeah, she's trying to have Ethel fight with health. It's weird because it's mechanically impossible in the game. Nice try though, but the rules of the game prevent me from actually killing him. So that's just how it is. Guess I can fight this mud stuff though, if it's any consolation. Okay, so go out and come on, let's get away from this mentalist. I heard that! Seize them! Help, let's get out of here. Okay, so now... Oh no, spiders. They're gonna glitch out things. Well... Then again, they don't seem to glitch out a whole lot these days, so... Who knows? Uh, so, mentalist! What is that? It's like a naturalist? What, the, what even is a naturalist, anyway? What even is half of these words I hear in my daily life? I don't understand the point of things and... Uh, and rotten barbecue sauce. I mean, it's sauce. How does it get rotten? That, that's just stupid. It's like something someone would say to sound random. Except it doesn't even work. I don't think. Anyway, killing a bunch of spiders is pretty fun. Except when it isn't. Which can happen from time to time. It happens to everyone. Anyway, pressure plates before pressure plates happen. Go kill some snakes. And I'm really getting a flashback feeling from uh, that blast castle room with all those rattlers in them. In it. Not them. A room can't be plural. Silly Jeff. And that's that. Wait. Oh, are you kidding me? That one dude over there? Oh man, this is just dumb. Like, high level dumb. The highest grade of dumb. Come on. We're almost out, Half. Hooray! Hooray, Murray! And suddenly finale music for some reason. That looks like a good way to go. Quick Half, down here. Okay, I can be throw. Beetho couldn't believe his luck. Never in all of his time conquering dungeons has he ever been caught by anyone. He sat there feeling sorry for himself. 
and get himself out. But how? Wait, how did Bisu get in there? We didn't see him getting caught. Okay, anyway, uh, okay, just how did we get in here? Um, I don't know. Will you be quiet? I'm trying to think of how to get out of here. Who in the globe are you? Uh, who in the globe are you? None of your business, Delver. Wait a minute. How many cells are occupied over there? There's been in my nephew half. Great, that means there's a way out. There is? Sure, but well, we've got to work together. Okay, what's the plan? Okay, be through really solid trapdoors, way ahead of you. Okay, doke, okay, doke. Okay, thingy, half. Of course, hit the ore. Okay. Okay, let me take care of this mud. Okay, let's all go. How did that door open? Dice come. Yay, we're free. Jeebus, they move fast. I'm gonna have to catch up. <coughs> okay, so. Hey, look, a wubba. I need to bet I can do this room without that, though. Plop. See, I'm magical. I managed it. In fact, fun thing, in my first run, I said, I mentioned that it could have been done that way, but I didn't do it. The Wobba ended up helping me, but not this time. I get a second chance, and so do I. Wait. <laughs> I get a second chance, and so do I. Yeah, totally. Anyway, this room is a room that I didn't like in the previous iteration. It's a timer room where we have to beat this uh, jerkish timer. It's pretty poop. Anyway, yeah, the timer is in the shape of guards spinning around. Like a mentalist. Because that's totally a thing. That is a thing. I'm getting... Uh, Roached by these roaches. Yeah, that sounds good. Anyway, more pressure plates before pressure plates. This time, on and off pressure plates. Okay, how do I do this? Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm running out of time over there. Get this for last. One more down. Almost done. Yes! That only took me a few tries uh, in my uh, previous attempt. What's with the giant door? Oh, that's why. More spiders! Seriously, I'm not sure why there's a problem. I mean, there was a problem though, because in Taka Trilogy, the spiders all bucked out, but I haven't encountered a glitch in a while. Which is really weird. Help! Don't come near me! Why? What's the problem? Why are you spinning around like that? An intruder got into the castle. I tried to stop him, but. But what? He cut the back of my cape on a fishing rod. Then he hooked the rod up to a motor. Now I can't stop spinning. What? If you stop the motor, I'll help you out. How do I... <laughs> How do I stop it? Just destroy the motor in there. And it's not funny! Yeah, it's through there. Hurry. Okay, so there's this room. Um, yeah, eyes. Let's kill them. And then there's the star stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's just make our way over there. Oh, oh no, I forgot to hit that other warp. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on! Uh, yes. 
this. Run up there. Look that. This looks like a room I faced before. And I'm not just saying that because this is the second time I'm playing through this, but... I don't know. I'm getting a odd jobs feeling from this for some reason. It's weird. Anyway. Plop. 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 Kill. Clip. Ow, my other... Okay, that... It's like... Ow, my eye! Ow, my other eye! Okay, let's just... Wait for those drugs to come over here. Die. 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 Take that, you fool! <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, exit level. Sorry I couldn't stay. I had to deal with the intruder. Lloyd Jericho, the guard. Jericho, whatever. Onwards to the top. Onwards to the end. Or something. I don't know. Okay, so we have to get out of here. Come on, thingy. Okay. Come on, beast. Come along, beast. Come along, pond. Okay, so lower floor. As Bithro half and his mysterious friend ascended the stairs, they could hear moans of pain coming from above. Yeah. Was this to do with the motorized pole crazed intruder as well? He turned to his new compadre and asked, What were you doing down there? His only reply was to ignore him. That's none of your concern. Come on, let's hurry on ahead. And I'll stay here because the video's over. But yeah, a slayer being his friend, that's suspicious as all heck. I needed to mention this because I talk about it a lot. But anyway, this is Beethoven back in a 7 with King Pilchard, uh, the 8th dungeon, the first part, take 2. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next part, which is not a take 2, hopefully. And yeah, have a nice one.